Hey, hey, everybody. This is Larry. This is day one, right? Are we day one? Yes. Day one of the July Lico Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's poem. And today we have a easy poem. If you're new to the channel because it is a new month, well, first of all, welcome. Hit the like button and hit the subscribe button. Also, we'll do this all month. Uh, we have a long streak going, so we'll keep on going. Uh, and a lot of these poems, in case you're wondering, I have solved already. So sometimes they're still in memory or in cache. Uh, I do not pre-prepare for these other than um, I don't know, every, anything you see on, on the video is everything I do to prepare for it. Honestly, I'm too lazy, so I'm not going <laughs> to prepare too much for it. If you want a video that's prepared, you know, this is a programming live channel, not a programming prepared channel. So it is what it is. Uh, yeah, today I'm still recovering from my exercises uh, and just, that's it, uh, just resting. Um, this is actually week one of my marathon training. Uh, some of you may wonder why I talk about my marathon training in this channel. But I mean, you know, I think there are a lot of analogies and a lot of lessons to learn from both. And look, you're doing, if, if you're here, you're, you're working on these problems, you're doing something hard, I applaud you. Uh, and, you know, the marathon for me is a similar thing. Me trying to do something hard and try to, you know, relate to each other in a, in a similar but diff different, difficult task. All right. All that said, uh, this is day one of July. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, let's do it. Uh, yeah. We have 3330. Find the original type string one. Alice is attempting to type a specific string on the computer. However, duh, 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 duh. she's clumsy, may press a key for too long. You're saying multiple times, all right? Uh, also, there's also the weekly problem if you're in the premium. Even if you don't have premium, you could watch me solve an extra problem in case you're wondering. But yeah, okay. So Alice is trying to focus on typing. She may have done this at most once. We saw in a character that's being typed multiple times, okay? So she may hold on to a key. And, but she might only do it once. Okay. Return the number of possible original strings that Alice might have intended to type. Okay, so now in this case, uh, you could have held on to the beat for too long, for two beats, or the C for four beats, or one beat, two beat, three, four, right? Okay, uh, I mean... <clears throat> So that means that for C, there is I want to try to I'm just trying to figure out uh, what is a precise way of saying it, but, um, but yeah, it just seems like for example, if you have two Bs, that means that you have two possible well one extra possibility of that being held on. Uh, it's at most one. So yeah, so then you have the original string and then one B plus three C's, three extra C's as the possibility. And I think that's really the, the idea for, for this one, right? Uh, there are a couple of ways you can think about it. I know that I, I don't I don't remember. I mean, I cleared the solution, but my first intuition, honestly, is just by grouping them by characters, right? So there is a, in Python, there is a group by function that does this for you very easily and then you could just do some math and sum it up. Uh, that's how I imagine I would do it uh, during a contest or something. That said, you're here, you're watching this video. Um, I could do it manually this time, which is maybe you have a streak is equal to zero, right? And the current is equal to some character. We'll do it as an empty string so that we don't ever have to do, right? So if C is equal to current, then streak increment by one. Else, current is equal to C, we update the character, and streak is equal to one, right? And then now, uh, yeah, total we added by streak minus one, assuming that, yeah, and mm, no, that's, I was trying to think whether we do it here or, no, no, no. I think the idea is actually when you increment the streak, uh, that means that you extend the streak, then you actually increment here, and I think that should be good enough. Uh, maybe not. Uh, <laughs> first character, second character, we have plus one, plus three. 
Um, I, I, I thought this was the case, but we just don't count the original one, right? So we're just off by one, I think, yeah. We just don't count the original string, so I think this plus one is fine. Uh, let's give it a quick spin. Hopefully for easy problem, I don't have silly wrong answer. But yeah, um, that's pretty much it. I think it's just about recognizing what this question is asking. And honestly, the phrasing is a little bit tricky. So if, uh, if you have trouble reading this, I do not blame you. Um, it's very awkward. And it com it's not a hard combinatorial problem, but it is still a com uh, com counting problem, which can be a little bit tricky for you to reason out to be precise. I certainly find it a little bit tricky sometimes. But yeah, uh, this is all I have for this one though. This is gonna be linear time, constant space, right? Pretty straightforward, hopefully, to look at and analyze. And that's it, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Let's have a good month, everybody. Stay good, stay healthy, to your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care, bye-bye.